Hey YouTube, how you guys doing tonight? Kevin here coming at you with another video. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my Honda here. So um, last night before I went in the house, I, I brought the bike in here. We started to get some rain and it was getting a little crazy. Um, so what I did was I took the two hoses off the petcock. And you can see how it's all varnish right there, leaking right there. And um, I mean, this, this thing's in, these cobs are in bad shape. I drained out this plug right here at the bottom I drained out the bad fuel and put bottle fed both of these before I came in the house last night so um, I wanted to see what would happen when I took the plug out if um, any crap comes out of them and see how exactly how bad they are the tank is absolutely nasty inside and I don't think you can see it but I'm gonna try see if I can show it to you okay. yeah you can see that that's what the inside of the tank looks like let me see if I can put this light on here you can see all the way down to the bottom see it can you smell that that's how bad this tank is so and you can clearly see it hasn't had any fuel right there see it at the bottom there all that varnish um, for quite a long time so if I uh, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I'm probably the last one to put fuel in this thing 13 years ago um, which is how long the bike sat for 13 years there's no battery um, so anyway um, the direction we're gonna take is last night after I shot the video on the bike and getting the bike home I popped off the two hoses and I used my little bottle of fuel right here and I, I put one of these in each one to see if the gasoline would break up any of the uh, the gum that's in the carburetor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm get you guys in the stand. We're gonna pop the two plugs off and just check it out and see what happens, what we get out of it. There should be, I, I already took the plug out once and that type of fuel, see the fuel all right there? All brown stuff came out of it. So I just want to see if I'm getting brown or clear or what color I'm getting the fuel out of it. And if you guys have a chance, hit that subscribe button and the like button and give the thumbs thumbs up. That helps us move us higher in the algorithms. Alright, let's pop these off and see what we're looking at. Oh my god, that tightened up. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, see how it's like gold, dark gold color? That's what was inside that carburetor. Ooh. All right, we're going to get some gas in that thing, and we'll flush it out until it comes out clear again. All right, put this into this. This is the one for this carburetor here. Okay. I get confused on which one it was. Okay, put that in like that. So what I'm using is my little bottle right here, and then bottle feed it, and it's going to come out the bottom here. Until it comes out clear. See how it's coming out brownish color? Watch. Yeah, there you go. Alright, good. That's actually looking pretty decent. Right. That's the bug zapper. Okay, that one's in there and tight. And I'll just squeeze this up in here. Put the bowl. I'm just squeezing the top of that bottle and filling it up. That's carb one. That's the line for that. Now, see this plug here? There's one way in the back there on the same side. You would have thought that they would have put one on each side, but they didn't. Okay, I'm on to it. Oh my God, he's a tight. Oh, I got it. It doesn't look too too bad in there so that's why I'm flushing these if they were all like black 
I'd be like, okay, we gotta clean these cabbages. I'm trying to do this the cheap way. I just want to even see if I can hear this thing run. So I'm gonna put this in here because this bike has been sitting for years. Well, you saw the tank. Okay. Now bottle feed it. Squeeze it till it see what comes out. Huh, oh, same thing. Wow. I don't know if you can see that now. It's coming out. It's, it's... Not looking bad, guys. Not looking bad at all. Okay, I'm going to put that plug back into it. You don't have to gorilla tighten these either. They have a tendency to get tight in our eyes. So I'm going to put some, there's a little bit of fuel there. I'm going to put some more fuel in that carburetor and let it sit with it. Alright, now let's bottle feed this carburetor right here. We'll fill this one up, fill up the bowl anyway. It's going in. This is pretty cool. Be nice if I'm just squeezing the bottle a little bit, pumping a little bit into it, and uh, seeing what you know if I could fill up that carburetor bowl a little bit. I'm not looking for miracles. All right. Okay. One there. All right, put that like that. I know this bike in and out. I I built this bike, so this is my literally my baby. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave that like that for now. All right, so now we got the carburetor bowls flushed and uh, filled up. Now, I'm not taking apart these carburetors just yet. Um, only reason why is because the, the fuel that came out of the carburetors was definitely varnished, um, but it wasn't to the point where it looked like it wasn't going to... Um, it was still liquidy. It wasn't all gum that came out. You know what I mean? Like a thick solid, like the tank looks. The tank looks awful. But if I was to say so, I'm going to go on a limb and say the petcock was off. It leaked out through the petcock, but the the fuel lines just had the, the carburetor bowls had little fuel in them. Um, that's what it looked like, because not much came out. But when I pumped them up, I got a whole bunch of crap out. So I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to slide the bike back over now, and we're going to um, quickly go over the points. All right, so the points are underneath this is going to do. I'm going to use my woman's um, not nail file, and we're just going to take these two screws out. This is going to be converted over to electronic ignition um, in the near future, probably actually by next month. We're going to get that. All right, don't want too too bad in there. Here are the points. Right here, it's all covered with black stuff. I don't know what that black stuff is, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna just get it. Yeah, really nothing on them. All right, well the points look clean. We'll leave that cover off just in case. All right, so the carburetors are flushed, the points are done. Let's take a battery and uh, see if anything happens with this bike. Okay, they, they add an extension. Oh, this is gonna work.
this battery doesn't go to this bike. I'm just trying to get it so it fits. And they added this wire right into that. All right, now, this is the first time I'm turning the key on in this bike in 13 years, so um, I'm looking for smoke and anything else that happens. Let's see what happens. Ah, we got a neutral light. No headlight. That switch feels funky. Directional. Got one bulb out right there. <laughs> on. Hmm. Oh, there's the headlight. I got a headlight. I got a headlight. High beam, low beam. Okay. All right, so I got lights, except for the directionals. Okay. All right, we're not worried about that. Sorry guys, I'm a little nervous. It's been a while and I haven't seen any smoke. So, this is good. This is good. I'm going to move you guys back here. I'm gonna try this thing out. Choke. Key on. Oh. This, it, did you guys hear that? We have life here. Hold on. thing is idling. Running guys, my bike is alive. Guys, I am over the moon right now, and I yell right now, but it's really late. I gotta shut this actually shut this off. It's at 11 o'clock at night. This thing just ran. <laughs> oh my god. This is literally incredible. Oh, I gotta check the songs. Oh, she was, she was firing. It's warm to the touch. This side. This side did more. This side did more. This I was trying. I'm gonna clean it one more time. I'm gonna go with that one more time. She was trying. She wasn't quite there, but she was trying. This side right here was trying. All right, where's my um, where's my file? Let's see if we get Spock out of it now. Oh yeah! Hear it when it sparks. When she fires, that's it. At those point, you'll be cleaned up a little bit more. Now it's firing on both cylinders. I gotta replace 
that was pointing. But they are they are working. Just firing on both cylinders right now, guys. Running on both with a choke off this thing idling, guys. out of fuel that's okay that's all right guys here's where we're at I'm not gonna clean those cobs nope we're gonna rip off that tank we're gonna acid wash it and we're gonna go ahead and replace both of those points um, probably just put a CDI I'm just gonna I'm not even buy points I'm just gonna replace them with CDI call it happy Wow Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's get this battery ripped off. Let's get this tank ripped off. And let's take a look at it. Where's my tent on? That was awesome. I think what helped this out is the other night I, when I got the bike home, I flushed out the, the uh, carburetors for the first time. I did that off screen like I told you. And um, now that I have the things on, you know, now that we flushed them one more time and got the rest of that crap out of there, I think that this is going to be good. So I'm going to try flushing out that tank. I'm not flushing it. I'm going to acid wash it with some merlic acid and uh, go from there. So... All right, give me a minute and get this bike back into position. Okay, so on these Honda tanks, you have a petcock that has two um, fittings on it for two lines. One going down to each carburetor. They loop around underneath. I already got those off because we, we flushed it. Now there is a crossover tube. See how the tank goes over the frame right here? There's actually a nipple going under at like a hook like this and a hook like this on, on each side. And then there's a crossover hose that goes there. I gotta get that hose off. That's a bear on this bike. Let's see if I can reach underneath there and get that off there. Yeah. Okay, that actually came off. A little tap and it came right off. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have the tank off, guys. Now that we have the tank off, let's flip it upside down. Oh, there's shit inside this tank. Doesn't look too bad underneath here. Oh yeah, I can hear some stuff in there. Hear it? The key. Yep. Okay. We're going to have to acid wash this tank. So in order to do that, 
you first have to pull the petcock off, put a line going from each side, you know, from one to the other, and then fill this thing up with acid, and then flush it. What I hear banging around inside the tank, and I, I can't show it to you on video because you're not going to be able to see it until I pull the petcock off. But where the petcock goes in, there's a tube that comes up with a filter on it. That's actually floating around the tank. That's what that noise is. So it's not rust. The tank is in a really rough shape. But we're going to go ahead and remedy that. So. Alright guys. Well I'm going to end it here. I'm going to fill this tank up with acid. I'll show you what I'm using for acid. So you guys know what I'm doing. After I get done taking and plugging where the petcock goes. And the two hoses with another hose. I'm going to fill the tank up with this right here. Okay. And you can get this over at Home Depot or Lowe's. And. You want to make sure you dump that in there. A couple of tips. Make sure you use rubber gloves. And you do this outside where it's well ventilated. Because the fumes off this is going to be pretty harsh. And um, last but not least. You want to make sure that when you do this. You put this inside of a bucket. Um, preferably like a, a big Tupperware or plastic bin. Because the acid that's going to be on here. If it leaks out it can contaminate the ground. Be cautious of your environment, guys. Dropping gas or oil on the ground is one thing, but acid can really hurt the environment. So make sure you do that, and try not to get it on the lock. Use a funnel, and don't overfill it, okay? Those are some tips for you for doing this. I'm going to do this off camera. Chances are this thing's full of pinholes. Um, only time will tell. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Well, I'm off for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me on this adventure. I'm going to go wash this tank. And then hopefully tomorrow um, we'll put this tank back on. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.